You know, 10 years ago, before I was married, my wife and I, my wife-to-be, we were on a vacation, a rough and ready vacation in Egypt and Sinai. And rather like Faye uh, said, our guide one, one evening said, wouldn't it be good to walk up Mount Sinai and see the sunrise the following morning? Sounds good, I thought. And the guide said, it'll be lovely. You'll be able to feel the warmth of the sun coming on your face as the sun rises. The light will be gorgeous. And you'll be able to take some fabulous photographs. You have to get up at 2 a.m. to do it, but hey. So we got up at 2 a.m. And of course, it was pitch black. We couldn't see a thing. We couldn't see the peak. And we couldn't see the path in front of us more than 10 feet. We had some torches, but that was it. So we set out on this journey, and we trudged along. And we went round some corners, and up and down, and round and round. And we went up some pretty steep inclines that were pretty loose, and lots of uh, rubble and stuff. And some of the people started to drop out. Turned around and started going back down the mountain, because it was easy to do that. But we stayed focused. We stayed focused on the feeling of achievement, what it would be like to be at the top of that mountain with the light coming up, taking those beautiful photographs and feeling the warmth of the sun rising on our faces. So we kept going and we got there and it was beautiful. And those photographs are the thing that we look back on most fondly now from that vacation. So what's the moral of my story? The moral is we can't wait for the light. We have to get going in the dark. And we have to let the sun rise on the path. And we have to stay focused on the feeling of achievement when we get there. You have to imagine the warmth of the sun on your face and imagine those photographs in your photo album.